Okay, collectors and people interested in ASP productions, this is going to be a presentation on grenade launching, and we're going to present to you uh, some items that were used, continue to be used, and realize that they are harmless objects the way we use them. Okay, first of all, this is a grenade launcher. Okay, the grenade, and I throw it. First World War, they realized they needed more range. So they decided to find modifications. And they need they realized that for in order to launch something like something heavy, you needed a very powerful charge, which meant you needed a gun that could take the charge. The British solution was to take shot out number three end fields, ones that the barrels were already gone, and reinforce the wood, because that's the part that's gonna break. You will see it's wire wrapped and soldered, wire wrapped and soldered, and in this case here they add an additional bolt right through here. Because the recoil of a grenade launching cartridge is such that it will crack the stocks on most guns. Now it's part of a system. In order to this to function as a grenade launcher, you need a rifle that can withstand the pressure of the charge. You need a grenade launching cartridge, okay, which are hard to find. You need an adapter on the front, you'd be called the cup discharger. And then you need a grenade with an adapter so it fits snugly in the cup discharger. Now, from a very practical point of view, you cannot get the grenade. So you can't launch something. You can't get it, so you can't launch it. Even if you had a Mills bomb somehow legally, you would still need the adapter so it fits into the cup discharger. And of course, you would need a rifle that could take the hit. Now, for collectors and shooters nowadays, they will often look for rifles like this just as a novelty item, as a curio of the World Wars. Now, they're marked GF on the receiver to indicate that they were originally made for grenade firing. All right? And this is a, a World War I Enfield rifle that was modified for that purpose. Now, you cannot get the grenades, but you can get blanks. And the ones that we tend to use are made by Party Privazon. They're lightweight blanks. They're not going to, you could put them in any rifle. Mm -hmm. And for launching, you use tennis balls, because tennis balls fit snugly in the cup discharger. And you can then launch them and make sure you use used balls, because you can only get one shot out of them. What's going to happen is when you fire a 303 blank or 7.62 NATO, if you use the Indian 2A rifle, mm -hmm. it's going to punch a hole into the back of the tennis ball and launch it out. Now, this different kind of contest, you're going to see one at the conclusion of this video. What we did is, how far can you get to the 100-yard line without actually going past the 100-yard line? You could also have a target out there, like a circle, and see if you can drop it into the circle. Or you could also do, uh, one person launches the tennis ball, another person blows it out of the air with a shotgun, okay, using trap or skeet loads. But those are, you know, some of the solutions to have fun with this. The confusion that is created with grenade launchers is the fact that in the 1960s the United States developed the M79 grenade launcher and later the M203. For those of you that are movie fans, that's the one Scarface refers to as my little friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, They called it a grenade launcher and that name is stuck and that's what causes confusion. It doesn't launch grenades, it fires an explosive warhead. Same with the Soviet AGS-16. They fire explosive warheads. They do not launch grenades. And curios like this, all you're going to do is launch tennis balls. Because you're going to use blanks, and you're not going to find Mills bombs and adapters yeah. to put on it. So it just becomes a recreational tool for anybody from 6 to 60 who's mm -hmm. still got the kid in them. And uh, nice item, and you will then see us demonstrating its use at the range as a fun event and hopefully some of you will do the same at wherever facility you're at. And you don't need one of these wire-wrapped rifles because you're firing blanks and launching tennis balls. Now, do the blanks, do they, over time, ruin the barrel? or No, no? they make no difference. They're, they're the bank, if you use blanks, they're the same as you use for saluting on Memorial Day. It's, it's a blank. It just sends powder downrange. Now, the advantage, I mean, it sends you know, noise downrange. Um, Party Privazan are non-corrosive. They're the ones that are used in movies and reenacting groups. So let's see if we can get some markings off the receiver here. Yeah. Before I find out what year this particular rifle was made. Okay, it's... They used to use rifles that were shot out anyway for, for launching. You could still stick a live round in this and fire it. Now, police use. Uh, after, basically, World War II, uh, some of these were issued to police departments, particularly in India, and they would use them to launch tear gas or bean bags. 
for you know non-lethal uh, crowd control. Um, like I said, you're not going to launch grenades. A, you're not going to find a grenade. B, you're not going to find the adapter. And three, you're going to have trouble finding grenade launching cartridges. Yep. If you stick a blank in here and you somehow foolishly did put a Mills bomb on the end, it would probably jump out two, three feet, drop it, do drop right in front of you and ruin your whole day. <laughs> Can I see the GF on the receiver? Sure. Now, if you run into a rifle like this and it's got DP, you know, dog papa, uh, do not fire it. Probably you can't. They probably cut the firing pin. DP means drill purpose. Okay. Basically, it's an unserviceable rifle used for cadets and training yeah. and extras in a movie running around the back. But DP, don't, don't, you're not going to fire it, okay? <laughs> yeah. Forget it. This, you could probably stick a 303 round in it. You're not going to win the Camp Perry matches with it, but. Uh, it would work. So the adapter fits at the end, right? Yeah, there. the adapter fits at the end. It's called a, a cup discharger. It clamps on, you screw it, and it has a little vent on the side to determine how much gas you want to determine the range. Okay. But again, launching tennis balls, uh, the way we do it here is we make you put down uh, your initials on the top with a magic marker, stick it so the initials are face up. Because when you fire it with a blank, you'll punch a hole on the other side, make a burn hole, and launch the tennis ball. Okay. And this way you know who launched. You put the person's roster number, or you can put their uh, initials. All right, fantastic, Sam. Thank, Thank you. you. I got three tennis balls left in the old order. Right, ready to go. All right. Okay. Two more. Okay. That's great fun, <laughs> That's right, you guys missed it last year. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> yeah. It's for the kid and all of us. <laughs> oh, wow. Too far. And here's the trophy, see? Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Can you put that yeah. attachment on any uh... Any in Mark III. Okay. The thing is finding them. At one time they were very common gun shows, anywhere, you know, twenty-five mm -hmm. bucks or whatever. Now they're like 100, 150, but one. you can put it on any Mark III. Oh, wow. Now You're the ones that we have is in a wire wrap. Oh, oh that's the 100 yard line. Yeah. That ain't yeah. 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 Okay. The blanks are more important. They can last three tennis balls. And I'll open up another box of tennis balls when I need to. That's no problem. Kill somebody with a tennis ball? Two. Two. All right, two blanks. Thanks, sir. We have two tennis balls. Stop in your balls. We get the thing done when we're done. Ah, uh, this is the marker. This one's fine. So. <laughs> oh. I, okay, so Robert, was so that far. your shot on? Yeah. Uh, How about you? Uh, a little bit lower. I'm not like kidding. It's right Alrighty. up against the thing. Now you got? Did you put a ball no, in I yet? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you can identify yours. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see which one's further. Yeah. Well, you got to remember, 100 yard line without going past it. And the 100 line now is that wood. Oh, the wood. Oh. Woo. Well, short. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. There's one other one back here, too. Ready, buddy? So yeah. one of the three is going to be good. Yeah. I'm going to shoot my ball. Ah, somebody just <laughs> got real close. Two balls off. Oh, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hey, that's it. Buddy, come. Do me a favor. Use these. Because that, that makes a mess of the gun. Barb, you need some more tennis balls to be up in the box. Oh, you do? Yeah, one. Okay. Thank you. A couple of more. Wow. You sent you a question. My husband is an artillery. His axe almost fell out of his head. Nah, I'm already decided it's hard. Put all the wood back here, though. Um, yeah. Well, they got a lot of grass on the ground. Oh, yeah. Up by us, that's not allowed. Uh, blanks left for next uh, two years from now, we do this again. <laughs> and I got like, oh, 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 Good. And I don't know what I'm going to get, you know, another ship of blanks over here. That's the problem. Oh, uh, I'm surprised. I get them from Ammo to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, four years from now, I'll have you get them. <laughs> yeah, 28. Woo! Nice. That's nice.
Jersey City Fire Department, what do you expect? <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? Hey, give Stu back his rifle then. <laughs> Thank you. That's another good one. Thank you. The wood would, oh, the, the wood would splinter. Yeah, the, the gun. Yeah, right. The wood would splinter. That was the I problem. So One more. That's it. Alrighty. Yeah. You can see he's. You know, we have ones that were designated for grenade launching, but that's not because the gun was going to blow up. The wood would splinter. So they, they reinforced it with this. And the bolt. Yeah. The bolt is an indication it was done in India. They did, did that. So. That must, nice. must put more pressure on everything, Stan. Oh. Yeah, because when, when you got the, the grenade launching right. cartridges, we were firing blanks. Grenade launching I cartridges got more fun. Plus, this, yeah. you got a pound of metal on the end yeah. that you got to launch. That's a real test for the gun. Yeah. 